all right guys so got this laid up it's a rear bumper for a customer it's ready to be popped I got an upper console here for another customer that thing's ready as well um, next got three orders in for this bumper so I gotta go and start working on this one next I'll put some gel coat in there in a little bit but uh in the meantime I gotta get some more propane because I ran out so I gotta go run to the store and I'll be back to do some more work on this bumper right here I'll be glassing that in today and uh, just gel coated these two pods here I gotta glass those in as well I think that's about it I gotta do some primer work still on one more bumper and then uh, Oh, still got this dash over here that I'm going to be scuffing down at, at another layer in this thing it's just been sitting um, the customer that it's going to is not in a real hurry I know he's not in a hurry so I've just been kind of slacking on it but I gotta get this one out too in the next week or two hopefully but yeah I finally ran out of glass ordered some more you can see I got a big thick roll of fiberglass in there to make all the stuff and uh, I'll be back all right here I got a rear bumper I'm starting to pop it pop it out of the mold and um, want to make a quick note guys um, these bumpers they're not always gonna fit a hundred percent depending on the car some cars uh, will fit better than others but they're always going to need some kind of uh, adjustment here on this uh, bolt-on sides on both sides because these cars are just these firebirds are just they're not all equal I think that's maybe the why they use rubber bumpers because that kind of stretches fiberglass doesn't stretch too much so uh, you're gonna have to put some bondo filler some fiber filler and some some body body filler pretty much if it doesn't fit um, sometimes you have to grind through the glass here uh, and if you go too far you're gonna go through the, you're gonna make a hole in it so I put a little bit thicker layer here just in case you got to grind it down but hopefully it's not that far off one of my cars was more uh, I had to add a lot more than the other so that's how I know these cars are not all the same so just keep that in mind um, if you're gonna take this to a body shop make sure you tell them you're probably gonna have to um, feather feather out the uh, the sides where it mounts tell them that's normal it's just the, it's the car it's not the bumper it's the car because even if I got one bumper to fit perfect my car molded it it's not gonna fit your car trust me it won't it just it just doesn't I don't know why the um, the cars back in the day they were so off but it is what it is anyways let's get to popping this out and there we have it, an out of mold rear bumper made out of fiberglass for any 82 through 92 Firebird. And this is, uh, the customer bought this one out of mold means I just popped it out and that's the way I ship it. I did tell him that I could cut out a little bit here to fit his, uh, he said he has a flipper. So I'll go and do that. Um, I don't have a flipper on in stock, but I do have my car, which is right here and I have the same flipper on mine. So what I'm going to do is measure the width here and that'll give me uh, my cut that I got to do on here because this is a little bit too low. It just needs to be maybe a half inch to an inch off here so that flipper can fit higher up or else it'll be hanging down a little bit uh, lower than what you want it. And you can see mine's nice and flush with the, uh, the bottom here. So that's why we cut that so when it when this thing opens up it has room to see it will hit it if you don't do that cut it'll start to open it'll hit and it won't open all the way to flip the uh, flipper so I'll go ahead and do that but other than that it's coming out of mold so your body shop guys got to go and trim this down and you know sand the whole thing and primer it and make sure it fits good on the edges here on the sides because I know this is not gonna fit hundred percent it, you know it, it is what it is it might be in it might be out you just want to get them tell them to fit it as good as they can in the middle somewhere in the middle and if it's low on one side just put some uh, sand this down 
some 80 grit and put some uh, uh, you could use that uh, the dino glass or a bondo with uh, fiberglass in it that those work really good and do that for your first layer and then just tell them to use regular um, filler after that and same thing on, on either side and if it's if it's too if it needs to be grinded in you can grind in a little bit but again don't go too far to the point where you go through the glass but again I did make this a little thicker on here because I do know that some cars you have to grind off this particular car I had to grind some on one side to get it perfect and you can see mine fits pretty good I mean, as good as you can get better than the stock ones that's for sure okay I have a couple videos on that uh, every customer that I sell this to I will send them out the videos so they can look and see how I fitted my bumper to get it perfect so anyways next next project I got going on after that I got a primer a bumper still and be popping this upper console for a customer trimming that and then I'm gonna make a couple pods in a second and then I'm gonna prep uh, another four season bumper to go out to start making that one so that's it for now all right, so here's the uh, bumper with the flipper area cut out for you. And you can see what I took out. It's just this little piece here. It's this piece here. And that's pretty much where the light goes. Uh, you have to cut this out with the flippers because, again, it won't open all the way because it'll hit up top here. The width is fine because I widened the width, the width of this bumper from here to here about a little wider but if you want it to sit up flush you have to cut that out so it can raise up and down it's not a big deal I trimmed it out for you because you wanted me to did it for free for you there Toss that away and so now all you got to do is get your uh, flipper bolted up in here and then you'll have your flipper in place all right so this thing's ready to ship it's out of mold ready to go take one more look at it came up pretty nice all right so that's enough of this bumper that's ready to go I'll wrap that up tonight and have it shipped out Friday it'll take uh, about two to three days priority mail to get to you so you get it next week somewhere around the sixth or seventh All right, here's the two pods. Just finished them up. This one needs one more layer. I didn't have enough resin for that when I ran out. But that's this one's done completely. So I'll pop that another day. And here's the upper console. I'm gonna let that sit in the mold another day, and I'll pop that one. So that's it for this uh, video, guys. I'll make another video of this very soon.